Hi, this is Manuel, Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November. Um, questions I get a lot by email or I see on the group. Um, how do you program it? Many people um, can handle hardware, soldering, but have no idea about software and programming and it seems complicated to them, but actually it is not and I'm going to show you today how it's, uh, how it's being done how I do it. Um, let's get started. What you need is an Arduino Uno. Um, can be bought real cheap. This this is a China clone. Uh, can be bought at Amazon or eBay for around, pff, I think, eight bucks. What you need then is a cable uh, that connects uh, the Arduino Uno to uh, your micro SDX sandwich. I will show you in a minute where and why or how at least. Um, then you need a software that's called Arduino IDE. Um, currently available in version 1.8.13. Um, this is used to make the source code into uh, machine readable code, let's say like this, uh, into a hex uh, for um, the Atmega to understand it. Just downloaded it uh, in the for the operating system you're using, uh, install it, there's no issues, it's pretty standard everything. Uh, the address for that is arduino.cc slash en slash software. Um, I think arduino.cc slash software would work also. Um, it will um, redirect you to the language we are using. Okay, after you have installed, downloaded and installed this software, um, yeah, let's take care about the cable. Uh, this is a document uh, provided by Hans uh, Summers, uh, the boss and founder of QRP Labs. He has made, he has done a really good job in um, putting all this together and I'm shamelessly stealing it. Hans, sorry, uh, you did such a great job. There's nothing much to, to add to that. And I'm referring to that document only because he pointed out which pin of the Arduino Uno needs to be connected to which pin of the ISP, the in-circuit programmer, or in-circuit in serial programmer. I don't know what's uh, the exact meaning of ISP is. Uh, pin number 10 goes to reset, pin number, pin number 11 goes to MOSI, pin number 12 goes to MISO, pin number 13 goes to SCK and ground to ground. Um, you can see the numbers here. Those are the numbers of the Arduino Uno we need to connect to the micro SDX, VCC, SCK, MISO, MOSI, Reset and Ground. VCC you can leave out. Uh, we, we are using instead a um, connection, a power supply connection, because then, uh, yeah, everything will work properly. The uh, voltage, the VCC will be filtered like it is uh, intended. Okay. I did. I made this cable with a uh, crimping device because I'm I'm doing it pretty often. So I took the time and made a matching cable. You can use just uh, jumper wires for that. But please take care. Make sure uh, this cable has a good connection. I bricked uh, a lot of Atmegas just because the cable was bad. All right, so now we have taken care about the cable. We have taken care about the Arduino IDE software. We've installed it. Now, the next thing we need is Guido's magical software. Um, the software is available at github.com slash 3 3 slash QCX minus SSB. You will land on that page here. You can, you can even Google QCX minus SSB or QCX SSB and you will land. This will be one of the first links you get. 
Um, you land at the master branch with this uh, pull down menu. You can select between different branches and versions. In my case, I'm using the feature RX improved branch um, because it's the only one that supports uh, relay switching. And on top of that, it's the best receiver. Um, this feature RX improved will soon be released as the new master branch um, as soon as every bug is uh, is completely gone um, as far as this is possible uh, there are not many left but yeah you never know to get it just click on code the, with the arrow and click on download zip um, then you download it and after you unpack the zip file, you will have all those files, all those files. Basically, it's uh, downloading every picture and, and README and schematic and everything that's on the page, on the GitHub page, is also in here. Now, you, you already see the INO file is uh, linked to the software we just installed, the Arduino IDE. And if you double click that, the Arduino IDE software will start and now it says uh, I need it in a folder and if by clicking OK it will be put in a in a folder. Now we have it open and we need to take care uh, if we're doing that the first time we need to take care about some basic settings. Um, first of all let's connect uh, the USB cable of the uh, Arduino Uno to the PC to the computer you heard the sound, it has been recognized. Um, first thing we need to do is go to File, Examples, Arduino ISP. Click on that, the, uh, a new sketch will open, a new window. Um, and th this code will turn your uh, Arduino Uno into a programming device via serial interface. Um, to to program the code into the micro SDX, um, we are creating a programmer with that tool, and now we need to take care that we are yeah board Arduino Uno. That's important. So we have selected the right board. We need to make sure the COM port is right. Uh, in my case, it's the only one provided, and that's the right one. Please take care. Uh, Many problems come from that. If you do not select the right COM port, um, you can just check if everything is okay by get board info and you will get an answer uh, with a serial number and stuff. And uh, yeah, in this case, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can ignore that, but it will become important later. So we have connected the Arduino Uno. Um, and now you do just sketch upload. It's compiling the sketch as you can see here. Now it will start uploading and now done uploading it says and we are finished with that sketch. Now our Arduino Uno is a programmer. We can close that and we are back to the qcxssb.ino file. Um, now that we have made, we have turned this into a programmer, we need to define the programming method. Actually pretty simple, all the settings are the same as before, like Arduino Uno as board, COM port is the same. Um, and now we choose programmer, Arduino as ISP. That is an important setting for one. Um, now I will connect the Arduino Uno to the uh, micro SDX sandwich. Unfortunately, I only have two hands and one holds my recording device, so I need to interrupt here and I will be back in a second. Okay, now the Arduino Uno is connected via the cable to the ISP interface of 
the sandwich and see uh, by the way the sandwich is without uh, the bottom pcb the rf pcb so you can access those pins it's the easiest way i figured and you do not need the rf board uh, while programming and uh, this also helps in avoiding the risk of accidental accidental transmission and just to mention that again the vcc pin is not connected okay i already switched it on as you can see here well, come on focus okay it's it's on it's on yeah like 20 meters now let's have a look what's going to happen next we can uh, adjust some settings if, if we like um, everything that's that's uh, relevant like if you use OLED you can uh, do it here for example let's say I have the OLED version, so I just remove that two slashes and see the grayed out line is now um, colored. If I add that again, it's being grayed out again. In my case, for example, I do not need cut interface, so I will out comment that and I figured that my crystal frequency is actually more like a uh, 27003800. This usually leads to my frequency uh, display being spot on. Okay, now that I've made the changes that I want, uh, by the way, you, you do not need to do any changes, it will work right away. It's just for convenience, so I do not have to scroll through a uh, menu and adjust that by hand, which will happen uh, in one hertz steps. This is the only reason. Once you have figured out your true crystal frequency, you simply enter it here and upload it with uh, every software update. Okay, now the important part. After all those settings are still as we set them, Arduino Uno as board, port, uh, COM port, Arduino as ISP. Now here is the important part. Do not get tempted to press upload. If you do that, uh, what will happen is it will upload this code to this um, Atmega chip. Um, this still will work if um, the um, Atmega chip has bootloader on it, which it usually has. But if you want to use, for example, a chip without bootloader, you, you cannot do that. Uh, apropos bootloader, the first thing I recommend now that we have connected this to this is tools burn bootloader. Now, now we have a bootloader. Next step is sketch upload using programmer. Uh, again, I, I didn't make this uh, clear enough. If you just press upload, you're using basically Barb's method, uh, Barb's easy method. It's, it is uh, admittedly an easy method because you just write it without further taking care. You, you could even, uh, uh, you do not even need that cable. You can uh, burn it on there. You can unplug that, plug it in there, and it will work. Unfortunately, you have to every time you, you have to uh, switch back and forth with that. And I am not sure if it's being recognized again. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I don't like the back and forth switching, so I just used the cable. And there's other benefits of programming it this way because uh, you do not need to take care about bootloader, I guess, um, because the right one is being used. It's it, but. As far as I know, I'm, I'm no expert in that. Um, the only way to do that is via ISP programmer. Okay, please correct me if I'm wrong. Now, if I click upload using programmer, then uh, this file will be compiled into machine readable uh, <laughs> hexadecimal form format and will be sent to this. This will translate it into a data stream and put it right here. Okay, let's just do it. Click. Now, sketch is being compiled. 
it's uploading, you see writing and the progress. And by the way, this needs some time, this is normal. Uh, actually, if it goes way faster than that, what you're seeing now, you most likely have a problem, even though it says, yeah, it's good, uh, it needs some time. I, I had that once in a while and it never went good. Just to show you, this is how the Arduino Uno looks like while programming. Now, the writing process is ready, it's reading, this is going faster. Now I'm, I'm switching to the display so you will see that it will reset the micro SDX after it's finished and it will start on 40 meter FT8 frequency again. See, reset. Now we are at 7075 in USB. So programming was success. Program is saying the same, done uploading. And we're good to go. That was it. Wasn't that hard, was it? Okay, if you have any further questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I hope this was a help for you. Thank you, bye bye, good luck, 73, stay safe. Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November.